Hello, so today we're going to do a little bit of a stereo upgrade in the Accord. This is the stuff that we're going to install. This sub and box I've had for a long time, so I'm just going to try to use it. It's actually made for a truck, but I'm hoping it'll be enough. I don't really want to have a ton of bass to like rattle all the doors and windows and everything. I just want to add a little bit, so hopefully it'll be enough. Uh, I have, I bought this wiring kit, eight gauge wire off Amazon. That's a new cabin air filter I need to install. Then I got this little adapter. It converts the signal from the rear speakers to uh, RCA. You can see it right there. And this also gives a remote power to the amp. So it'll turn on and off with the rear speakers. So hopefully that works good. Then this is the amp that I got. It's not that powerful. It's a 250 watt at two ohms and 150 at four ohms. I don't know if it'll actually be enough power or not. So we'll have to see once we get this installed. So let's start doing it. I want to keep this looking as factory as possible. So I'm planning on running the power wire just I might have to cut a hole in this which I really don't want to have to do but I need to get the power wire in here somehow and then I'm going to route it around with this wire going down and then there is a grommet where the wiring harness goes through the firewall about right here it's so that is where we're going to go through the firewall there's a couple there, but this one is the bigger one and I should be able to reach that from the inside. So that's what we're gonna try to do. So after we get that wire through the firewall and then there'll have to be a fuse here too, which came in the kit, but. So then, if we can find where that wire comes in, we need to pull some of this insulation back. Um, see that right there that actually looks like it right there yeah that is it so first light is not nice so that's the grommet right there you can see the pedals so that's where we'll come through is through that hopefully it's fairly easy to get through there so I guess that'll be the first thing, and then after that, I'll need to run it down over here and then figure out how to get all this trim off, and I'm just going to run the power down this side of the car all the way to the trunk. So, let's start working on that. I got the car wires through the firewall, through that grommet I showed earlier. Um, the easiest way I found to do it was I taped this to the end of a screwdriver and then I poked a hole through the firewall with the screwdriver and then just shoved this on through and then I pulled it through this side, got the tape off and now I can just pull out however much I need. That was the easiest way. This way there's like brake lines running right along in front of that grommet so it makes it very difficult to get to from this side. So that's the easiest way I found and probably I'm hoping that was the hardest part of this whole installation because <laughs> I, I don't like doing that but and the grommet actually it pulls through this way so it actually came off the firewall so I gotta make sure that that's sealed on the firewall which feels like it is back on there now so all right so i'll route this which i feel like i want to go around here and then follow this on up so just kind of pull however much i need through around like that you pull a little extra you can always cut a little shorter but that should be plenty. And then I'll get that other stuff on there to make it not red. And then that should be good to go. So now on to routing it through the rest of the car. Looks like this comes off. So it just pops right out. Okay. 
I am correct. Just popped out. Four little clips. Go down in there. And then this is also clipped in there. Assuming it needs to come this way. Yep. <laughs> My uh, K tuner plug is in the way for the OBD2 port. There's a little bit of sound deadening behind that. So yeah, there's two clips on that and then it's hooked behind here. So pull that out and then I guess it just clips off. So pull that out and then it should fall off. And then this is kind of in the way of it. I had this just tucked behind that panel, a bunch of extra wire for the K tuner. Uh, this will come down through here. There's already a big harness going through here. There's a ton of room, which is really nice. So I don't know if I can. These are just like plastic plugs on here. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is going to be in the way now. Hopefully this just pops up like the one on the front, but it goes, uh, it doesn't go under the seat very far, so hopefully it'll just pull up. Actually did break that one. Should be fine. It's under the seat anyway, the seat should hold it. So yeah, it should fish right through there. Now that goes all the way under there. Too. I don't know, I don't really, I guess it could, no. Well that just pulls off really easily. <laughs> well that's gonna make it way easier. I'm just gonna pull that off on the other side too. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, that whole panel just falls off. There's no clips on it at all. There's no seatbelt going through it either, like the older Hondas. So, now we should be able to fish that through easily. That's the uh, side airbag, airbag impact sensor, or that or that, or that's probably for the seatbelt. And then this is probably the side impact sensor for right here. So we don't want to mess with that, <laughs> but this should be able to come up now. I should be able to just fish it through there super easy now. have to figure out where this goes into the trunk probably just keep following this main wire harness to all the way to the trunk got plenty of wire so just gotta find out where this goes into here probably open the trunk and see so I'm going to use this little clip remover tool hopefully take these out those are just little push ones Those to the side. Now I should be able to take this whole center piece out here. I don't know if I need to take the whole thing out. Might as well probably take the side panel off too. Yeah, all this is sound deadening. Not a whole lot of it, but enough. 
I don't think we need to take that out. Little fuel funnel. Interesting. Uh, let's see. I want to take this side panel off. I really would just like to run it right through there. I don't want to have to cut any holes or anything in this. I don't know if we'll see it. I'll pull that seat down. Oh yeah, that should work good. So I should be able to just feed this wire right through here. That goes there. Yeah, I remember to do that. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna feed the wire right up over this. It's not any not any sharp edges. It's all rounded off nice. So I'm gonna try to feed it through here. There we go. So I just pulled the seat cushion up, shoved it under there not sharp or anything under there so should work fine it's plenty to put the amp up here or maybe screw it to the back of this or something I don't really know I'll probably just leave it set here or screw it to the uh, sub box but that'll work fine actually come out like that well it's probably gonna have to be on the side here probably gonna have to come out like right there or anywhere here honestly doesn't really matter That'll be good for a ground. I mean, honestly, for a ground, I could put a hole through any of this metal here. Probably through here would be best. Not through here, because that's probably the bottom of the car, so. I'm not 100% sure if the remote power will work off of that adapter. It's supposed to, but there were some reviews where some people couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to leave all this undone. And then if I have to run a remote wire to the uh, uh, fuse panel, I'll do that. Um, unless I can find some uh, switched wire back here that I could tap into. But I don't know of any at the moment. So there might be. I don't really know. So I think what I'll do next is probably uh, work on tapping into these speaker wires, the rear speakers back here, and then kind of hook everything up and just make sure it works as it's supposed to. I want to show you how I'm going to tap into these. It's really simple. I have these spade connectors on the ends, and I found out if you unclip this, you can shove these right into here. It's the inside. And they're actually really tight in there. They shouldn't come out at all. And that way you don't have to solder, you don't have to cut any wires, you don't have to do anything, and you can get your signal perfect. Which that is gonna be so black as ground. So exactly like that, and then that obviously isn't gonna be able to be closed again but it shouldn't matter and you can zip tie this like right there so then they're not going to have all the weight on them either but it's a really cool thing i found and you don't have to cut any of your wires at all which is the good thing so i'm going to do that for both sides and then we'll get hooked up i just tested it i got all wired up here it doesn't look pretty right now but i just wanted to test it and everything seems to be working exactly how I want it to. Um, it has quite a bit of base for what it is. I was kind of surprised. Um, this is the finished product up here. So you can see the wire coming out here. I still have to notch this out, but it won't close all the way, but it comes out here, comes right around here. And then I have the fuse here, which I think I might wrap some black electrical tape around this. So you can't see that either. And that goes down there so i really like how that looks it looks very factory still so um 
that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not gonna show putting everything back together because it's just the reverse of how it was taken off. So I hope this actually helps somebody and it shows kind of the process and where to route the wire. So thanks for watching. See you next time.